So first driving impressions of this Explorer ST line, pretty nice. Drives similar to a, a typical Explorer in a good way. And I am a, a pretty big fan of the 2.3 liter turbos. I will say in eco mode, quite a lot of power I get just putting my foot down a little bit. It's not as limited as I would expect. And I do like that actually, but I'm gonna put it into normal mode now. And with this being an ST line, I know it's not a, an ST, but I would have liked to see paddle shifters here, especially with a 10 speed. And I still have that same sporty feel. Of course, the engine's not as big, but I'm just, I'm quite impressed with the pull this has. I've driven the 2.7 EcoBoost in some vehicles. I just drove the three liter EcoBoost in a Bronco Raptor yesterday. And this feels how it should feel comparatively. The EcoBoost is just a really good, Ford makes really good turbo engines in terms of performance, in my opinion. And this one is no different. It just drives very nicely, quite powerful. I'm gonna put it into sport mode now. Give it some throttle here. Yeah, the car really does pull. I'm gonna give it, I don't wanna give it too much, but I'm gonna give it some getting on the interstate here. And the 10 speed shifts so smoothly. It just doesn't feel like a traditional transmission. Even in sport, it's not shifting harshly. So really, really impressed with the power of this car, of this SUV. So I have the lane cube assist on now. I have the adaptive cruise on now. Pretty impressed. And just a little bit of wind noise, but it's pretty windy out today. The ride is very, very straightforward. It's not overly smooth, but very comfortable and it just it doesn't change up so quite impressive now for fifty thousand dollars definitely comparing to the the chevy traverse probably the honda pilot toyota highlander and then the Nissan Pathfinder. This, I feel this powertrain is slept on because you get better fuel economy, but on top of that, you're also getting a faster feeling vehicle because you're not having a naturally aspirated V6. You have this EcoBoost engine, which does a really good job at putting down the power. But overall, Quite impressed all the way around with this Explorer ST line. Checks all the boxes for me at least in terms of a three row SUV and you're not wanting to go full on expedition. So this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2023 Ford Explorer ST line.